Hi, I'm Oliver Goodbrod, an authorized CUTE trainer from EGITS. Welcome to this learning video based on material taken from the CUTE Essentials training course. With these videos, we will be giving you the key insights into CUTE as well as demonstrate the type of in-depth training available in the classroom-based CUTE Essentials training course. So talking about proxy models, convenience class for using proxy models is QSORT filter proxy model, which gives you the chance of sorting and filtering the data from your underlying model. So which means it transforms the data structure of a source model into a sorted or filtered proxy model. Here we see a sample how to create a QSORT filter proxy model. We just created and we set the source model to our existing model and we just set the model of our views to the proxy model. But whenever you want to do some sorting or filtering, you have to keep in mind that you need to load all the data to be able to sort and filter. And this might be a heavy operation for large data models. So let's take a look at the sorting and filtering functions within our proxy model. So you can use the set filter wildcard or set filter key column to identify what data you would like to filter. If you like to sort your data, you can just turn it on by set sorting enabled to true and you can tell the model which column you would like to sort in which order. So for instance, if you want to filter a model via a QLine added signal, you just connect the line added signal text change to the set filter wildcard of your proxy model. We hope you enjoyed this session of our Qt Essentials training. For the full experience, including labs, Q&As and additional info, we recommend you to attend the full multi-day Qt Essentials training course available from EGITS or any one of the Qt training partners. For full details, check out qt.nokia.com. Thanks for watching.